Is this a fad that's going to die out? Is it going to transform? What's going to happen next for yeah. the cell phone? Well, no, in fact, um, cell phone manufacturers now have gotten on to the fact that this is one of the big uses of their technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and the age is long gone when people would choose a point-and-shoot camera over a smartphone camera. Right. So cameras are getting better. They're getting more intelligent. And the selfie technology is getting into apps so mm -hmm. people can now kind of shoot the perfect selfie and then kind of retouch it to, to, to almost kind of cover star quality. Yeah. And it's, it's only going to get more intense because there's a possibility to make money from it. Right. So selfie, so branding yourself and branding yourself in various ways. And because it literally reflects who we are and it's so mm -hmm. tied in with the way we work, it's much more than a fad. Uh, and yeah. I think it does cross a lot of age boundaries because it's so easy to do. So it's definitely, it's not like the yo-yo, it's not like the hula hoop, it's not it's a fad that'll go away. Partly because we are so connected to our cell phones. Yeah. They're always with us. And the more connected we are with them, the more sense it makes for us to connect through them. Do selfies show that our society is becoming more narcissistic? <laughs> well, that's, that's interesting. That, that's one view way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. But I think the, the simpler answer, the less sort of psychologically kind of complex answer, is that we have technology that allows us to do it. Mm -hmm. So it was once quite difficult to take a self-portrait. You had to set a timer, right. or you had to ask somebody to passing. run around That's and right. hope yeah. that So it was, it was okay. complicated, and also you ran the risk of somebody coming and running off with your device. Right. Now it's incredibly easy, um, and I think the revolution was the, the, um, the two directions of camera. So you just mm -hmm. flip around the camera to face you, yeah. and that just makes it incredibly easy. You can now see yourself on the screen, and that sort of mirror mm -hmm. uh, of yourself has made it so much easier that I think if small kids now are growing up taking selfies, taking selfies. you know, and, 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 for, and older people when they discover selfies. But I think the kind of selfies that you take will reflect what's how you're feeling about being in a community. So a lot of people don't take selfies with just them in the picture, they take selfies with their friends. And the yeah. most famous one, of course, is, is the Hollywood selfie with the Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, DeGeneres and the whole of Hollywood behind right. her. <laughs> if that had just been her, Mm -hmm. It would have been seen as a very self-absorbed self, and no one would have really yeah. commented on it. Right. But because she managed to cram every single ego in Hollywood <laughs> into the picture, um, it said something about celebrity, and it was a very fun image. And that, I think, is a good example of control. Mm -hmm. of, they don't need paparazzi. They don't need a, a studio photographer to come and take their picture. They will take it, and they will smile when they're ready, and they will control the image and the distribution. That's a very interesting outlook yeah. on it. Now, is selfie culture in South Africa on par with the culture in the rest of the world? Yeah, I think it is. I don't think much research has been done locally, but international research, um, definitely we seem to fit in with those, with those trends. And I think selfies cut across cultural groups, they cut across income groups, because the cell phone cuts across all those groups. Yeah. And the trend these days is that more and more people are getting smart devices, and feature phones and so-called dumb phones are being less and less used. So you'll find selfies being taken all over the place, and they're just a reflection of, of, of our society. And we, yeah. I think... If there had to be research, you'd probably find we were one of the most active selfie generations, nations in, in the yeah. world. Wow. Now, uh, lastly, what can we learn from selfies? I feel like we've said selfies so many times. Yeah. We should have a counter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what can we learn from these selfies? Well, we can learn that, uh, okay, so that what we can learn is that selfies aren't necessarily a negative phenomenon. They're I think a lot of people think they are yes. negative. Yeah. Well, they're not negative in the sense that they're not narcissistic. They're not just people gazing inward. The whole point of a selfie is that you don't keep it to yourself. Right. The whole point of a selfie is that you share it. Yeah. So it's the sharing aspect that I think we can learn from. So what we can learn from is, is uh, that we all have a driving need to kind of validate ourselves as people mm -hmm. who have a reason to, to have a selfie taken and then to connect. I think it's, it's an ancient instinct to say, here I am, this is me, who are you and right. what are you doing? So and selfies are actually a social medium like any other social medium, mm -hmm. but I don't think that really that they're negative in the sense that they are being portrayed. Great. Thank you for coming in, Gus. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs>